having cell phones in, the, in a classroom and therefore they should be banned. Do you agree or disagree with this one? And give me your reasons. I am agree, actually. I agree, doctor. Y yes, I agree. Because, I agree uh, is one. I agree. Y yes, I agree. Yeah. Why? Uh, because, uh, as you know, the... Uh, every the school, I, uh, I, I must talk about the public school, not the school in the university. In a public schools uh, must be prohibited, especially in about the teenage people, because, because they must be have the, some problem, as you mentioned in your discussion. And the uh, Privacy of the classroom is very, very important. I'm not agree with that. The, I that don't men, agree. I don't agree with the, for example, the survey of the classes by any uh, video, uh, because every system have the their regulation, and the, this public issue must be have some regulation that the uh, people and the student obey from that. We're not talking about the exception. Exception may be occur in every social. The exception may be occur about the, every teachers. But as the rule, uh, regulation is better than that the um, situation that the, everybody have the uh, some activity that destroyed everything and uh, annoying the, all of the system or student or teachers and everyone. I, you, know, you know, nowadays cell phones are not banned uh, at, even at the public schools and the students can use them during the class or in the classroom. So uh, what do you think of that? Do you think they should be banned anyway? I think so. It's better ban. Mm -hmm. It's better to be banned. Yes. What about others? What do you think about the question? I think students can bring a cell phone in the classroom, but they uh, don't use the uh, cell phone during the lessons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, uh, because this is te new technology. Maybe uh, sometimes they need to use it. That uh, <clears throat> it's existing uh, uh, rules in the Canada, and mm -hmm. it's it's very uh, it's very good decision. I think so. To ban the cell phones in the classroom, you mean? Yes, you can bring, but don't use uh, during the lessons. Okay, but when they bring it, usually the students will use them whenever they want. Sometimes they are texting, sometimes they are just looking at their cell phones while they are sitting down in the classroom. But and for this, uh, the uh, school has regulation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they have uh, Students should be allowed, allowed to the regulation of the school. Mm -hmm. Already exists a, a law about about the cell phones on on the school. Has a prohibition. They can use the cell phones on the school. They can or cannot. Cannot. cannot they cannot. Mm -hmm. Yes. But sometimes you know the, the, you you need the cell phones, especially sometimes the teachers will ask them to use their cell phones to search something or to. Find the answer to some questions. So what uh, do you no, think of that? They they don't don't they can they can use the cell phone has a prohibition to use the cell phone on the schools. If someone takes the cell phone without the permission of the teacher, uh, the teacher can take the cell phone and give to the principal office. Some it's uh, I think it it would be have some misunderstanding. Uh, 
bringing the cell phone is uh, so different uh, from the using in the time of the class. Bringing is not have the, any problem, but the using when you, for example, you uh, teaching something for by self for anyone, I think it has this some problem because interrupting the teaching, interrupting everybody that uh, uh, are in the every classes, interrupting the uh, uh, every learning issue that you can do that. What do you think about but, but, the, but yeah. bringing is not have the any problem okay. because because maybe have the urgent problem urgent situation that the parents want to know about that and they connected to their their, uh, their children it has not any problem in this way but the using during the teaching time without the exception of the teacher. I have problem with this situation. I I agree with I agree I completely agree with Farzad uh, because the cell phone is an instrument and so having cell phone in the class is no problem. But controlling is very very important in the class and how to use this uh, instrument is very important. Exactly. But cell phone, it's uh, the same problems. Uh, uh, like another problems, problems of discipline in the school. So I, I think the cell phone is uh, is any tool. Uh, you can bring the cell phone to the school, but in the classroom, uh, you cannot use it. When uh, because if you use cell phone, send a message, something can 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 un can. can can un country it to the teacher's uh, um, speaking something. So if if the teacher asks you, yeah, use the cell phone, uh, search something or translate the word yeah. for me, yeah, use the cell phone, trans, uh, translate the word. So at that time, you can use the cell phone. And about the private, uh, private problem, I think I need to tell the students, you can take the picture or take the video, but you cannot post on the public, public uh, like, uh, like Facebook or YouTube. You, you need to conform with the, with the teacher or students uh, and, and make sure this issue is the correct issue. And uh, you can resolve this inside the uh, uh, school and not put on the public because I, I, uh, a, a lot of other people do not understand what happened. Just uh, uh, see your video, maybe can, can yeah, um, destroy the teacher's rep reputation or destroy the teacher's uh, image something. For example, that the teacher have 30, 32 years experience for the teaching, uh, have a good, good imaging in the public. And you put, you put a video, maybe, uh, maybe in a short time, destroy that the teacher's uh, reputation or imaging, make that teacher very sad. So I think you can bring bring the cell phone, but you cannot use the cell phone. If the teacher asks you use, you can use, and yeah. you can take the picture, and uh, you cannot post in the public. If you have some yeah. Yeah. Uh, problem, uh, you can talk to the teacher or talk to the president uh, and use other students. Uh, Ellen, we understand Testify you. it to you or uh, something. I mean, okay, so so point. what do you think about the adult classes? You know, in your classes, there are many students that are using phones in the classroom, and the teacher cannot or does not complain about it. In the classroom, the student cannot use. If you use the cell phone, send a message or something, you are uncomfortable for the teachers talking something. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm talking about the adult, cl adult classes, not teenagers, you know. 
The teenagers oh. are different. Yes. Oh, adult think, class. You yeah, mean? adult classes, yes. I think about the adults, there's nothing to do. It is what it is. It, maybe it's better to ignore them. It's better to ignore? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because they don't change. They won't I think, change? I think in yeah. the adult, I think in the adult uh, classroom, uh, the teacher uh, in the first session should be determine the instruction of the all of thing in the classes, eating, I don't know, drinking, use of cell phone and something like that, then should be determined, clear the uh, re regulation about it. In the adult uh, classroom, I think it's the same because we need to respect the teacher and teacher uh, talk something, we, we need to yeah, listen and, and uh, we, because we in the classroom learn from the teacher. So I think if you use cell phone, send messages, that's not a respect for the teacher. So I don't agree. Yeah. If you need to yeah, check something, uh, translate the word, oh. uh, that's, that's, that's accept, acceptable. The classes uh, may be so different, but uh, in our classes, for example, I can say that it's not polite. Actually, when you teach, I show my message to another body and have conversation about that. It's not polite, it's not acceptable. I think it's not respectful, actually, to other people and to our teacher. So what would you do if you were a teacher, Arza? Oh, it's a very good question. And uh, uh, how I can do that is very, very uh, tough, uh, tough. Uh, uh, I think if, if, if anybody mm -hmm. have not uh, respectful about another body, and repeated this action, not one, one, one time, for example, in month, it maybe have the uh, urgent problem, but it have the repeated, repeated every day, every day. I uh, think it's better uh, that the people must be know that uh, uh, the student must be know that the action is not respectful. That is not polite. That is annoying another body that coming for learning, who is speaking for together in the silent situation is uh, is not respectful. I think it must be better that uh, this person know about the behavior. But we are not small children, and we have in our class very polite uh, students. Yeah. I didn't see something that's not respectful for teacher. We so good. I don't know what who complain about our. You are great, Tatiana. <laughs> yeah. But very good, very good student in our class. Yeah, we have got very good, educated very nice, students. A cheerful, I I don't know. So I, what 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 would you do if you were a teacher and uh, some of the students just started using their phones during the class while you are teaching? Uh, sometimes you you received uh, a, a very important. Uh, calls and you go out from for uh, you know your uh, uh, behavior very smart and very good. I think we should continue in this way. It's my okay. it's my opinion. Okay. Any other opinions about cell phone use in the classroom? No. no. Let's go to the second debate question. Uh, we've got another one. <clears throat> so the topic is uh, posting secretly obtained uh, videos of people on the internet should be a criminal offense. Do you agree with that or disagree? Yes. It should be. Yeah. Criminal offense. Yes. For example, someone films you. So. 
secretly and then post your film on the internet. Post the videos on the internet.